hello welcome to my channel and this is going to be my weekly reading and this is going to be the reading for the full moon that is happening on um, the 10th of so Monday the 10th of October at 7 54 a.m. so if you're on the other side of the world it will be the day before that because I'm in um, I'm ahead of most countries here so this is going to be a new moon, full moon which will be in Aries and it's going to be conjunct with Chiron. Um, so we've got a few more things, aspects coming up with astrology for this week as well. But with this full moon in Aries, it is going to be, um, I feel like a fulfillment of a cycle. It is about like our inner knowing the inner collective knowing I feel like the truth but I feel like it's going to be about exposing wounds um, this could be a time of emotional healing but it's going to be when we're dealing with Chiron we're dealing with um, I feel like it's emotional pain that's how I always see Chiron and how I describe it it's an emotional pain wherever it is in your chart that's where your pain is for your for your life that in that area um, and it's, they call it the wounded healer, but when you read upon it, it's the wound doesn't get healed. Um, I actually don't like Chiron energy. So when we've got the moon with this, I feel like it's going to be aspects to, could be also to the home, um, could be also dealing with the feminine because we're dealing with um, the moon feminine energy. But I just feel like it's going to be some sort of like revealing, but also a knowing of having to be independent and rely on yourself and no one else. It's about the collective uh, becoming together but pull apart. So being an individual, not being a sheep. It's about knowing like who's right and who's right or who believes who's right because in Aries they can be argumentative because they do believe that they are right. So there is an, an aspect of this of knowing or feeling that which side is right and which side is not right. But it's, I feel like it's exposing a lot with this. We've got Pluto moving forward and that's happening on around the 8th and 9th of the month. Pluto moving forward in Capricorn. This I feel like, I kind of feel like with Pluto here going in retrograde, it's been hiding a lot of secrets and we're dealing with government, dealing with the financial sector, um, any sort of institution, law and order. And I feel like with it coming forward, it's going to be a big bang. I feel like it's, we're looking at things being revealed, things being more out in the open, not so much being hidden or hidden as much because we've still got that Neptunian, Neptunian energy in Pisces, which is causing a lot of um, delusion. I've got a lot of like the, the woke things and more of the uh, Pisces things happening, but it's like a fight back or... I feel like a revealing of things about, as I said, our governments, more like secrets, like leaked, exposed, the truth. Um, I feel like we're going to be looking at things revealed about um, the the thing in the arm, um, or the shot, so the shot. I feel like there's going to be things revealed about that. Um, there's going to be like money aspects. I kind of feel like there could be a very light, very big dip, more of a dip in the markets. Um, I feel like housing bubbles are being bursted. I feel like people's disappointment being revealed. At the moment, there's been this kind of um, fog or this cover up that everything is okay, that nothing is really wrong, even though we have an understanding or feeling that it is. Um, we've also got here, um, we've got this week Mercury is moving in to Libra which is probably going to happen more on the 11th 12th of the month so with this going into Libra there's a lot of Libra energy because we've still got Venus um, in here in the Sun so this is communicating about justice we're thinking about we want justice we've also thinking about money aspects with this we're thinking about relationships we're communicating, probably even communi communicating better, I feel like, relationships in what we're wanting um, out of people that are around us and not, I feel like it's not about hesitating about what's coming up to with this energy. 
and it's time I feel like a, a time of also reflection on what's coming above um, we've also got here um, Venus is going to be opposing Chiron um, and that's going to be again the around the 11th so it, yeah the first half of this week got all this stuff happening um, this is going to be as again it's going to affect money as well as relationships it's going to be revealing I said like where holes are where things aren't working out where people's issues are I feel like it could cause a lot of a fight I feel like there's going to be um, some sort of like war things I keep on seeing like the planes like the um, the big plays like the, the city with the planes with the battle ship I feel like that there's going to be some sort of announcement um, from a politi political power. It's going to be to do with like the China, Russia, America. There's this tensions heating up, and I feel like we're going to see more stuff revealed about this this week. But I feel like it's going to be about the fighter jets, the planes. There's going to be more things coming up about that whole war energy coming up this week. Um, to some, I feel like some announcements coming up but in our individual lives it is about what relationships again about cutting out or revealing what relationships aren't just working out what needs to go where are the holes I say where the holes are where the wounds are what needs to freaking heal them if you can save the relationship or is it time to let it go um, not just this can be any sort of relationship friendships not just um, not just romantic so in astrology we have a lot coming up um, for the week ahead. I feel like tensions are going to be um, complex, going to be running high. There's going to be a conflict around with this. I've also got here like exposing of truth. Um, I've exposed the, a, a heart. So I feel like, and what people truly feel. So I feel like it is time to all people how they are feeling in relationships. It's going to come out. As I said, like things exposing. Um, I feel like it could be an issue. It could be a thing of lovers reuniting. So it could be uh, people coming back from the past reuniting. Could be a time for that. I was feeling last night. Um, I got like what is lost will be found, and this is about relationships. So what's missing from a relationship, you might find it and be able to fix it, and in fact heal it. Um, I feel like there could be maybe lack of sleep this week. So sleep may not be as um, it might not be as easy to get this week. I got here groups of people finding each other, so like minded groups um, finding or fitting into what group that you fit in in society can be coming up. I got staying in your beliefs because we're dealing with Aries, and Aries are very firm in their beliefs and what they believe in, so it is about staying in your beliefs and don't get lost or bend, or bend what you believe in so again it's like this opinions what you have if you feel too right don't bend or break on your values or what you stand for um, we, all, we all have to stand for something we've got here be careful not to overspend um, only what you need so I feel like this is a week where we're coming into financial we're coming into financial hardship a little bit so I am feeling like people are going to have to start like really and only spend what they need and try not to splurge too much. Um, I got here, yeah, Pluto uncover behind what has been hidden and what's been right in front of us. So it's like, as I said, it's like we what we've been knowing with this Pluto moving forward, it's going to be revealing and gearing into some stuff because it's in this last part of Capricorn and next year it does go into Aquarius. It will get triggered back into Capricorn, but it's in these last degrees of Capricorn. So I feel like we're gearing up for some interesting times ahead to do with our our boundaries, anything to do with institutions, the law and order, just the like giving justice, but financial governments, um, that sort of area. So we got um, Okay, only get into situations that I'm dealing with financial or my, um, love or financial situations, it feels right. So if it doesn't feel right, if someone's offering you something and it really doesn't feel good, I feel like it just trust your gut and do not go into into it. And I've got don't caught up in delusion. So don't get lost or caught up into things that um, might seem too good to be true or things that you know is not really accurate. Um, I've got here, take action of your life. It's a time to be um, productive. 
as well and don't get uh, caught up in others expectations so we always get I feel like this was a big lesson that I've sort of had for myself this past week I, I was able to do a two-day workshop last weekend with Lisa Williams which is a fantastic medium she's to have her own TV show and um, we were doing some exercises with mediumship and the one thing I had um, bit of myself is trying to get what I think the client really wants for them to know the loved one like how they the person pass how old they are like all these bullet points that we try to get to prove who the loved one is and I never feel like I get get enough or get the right information out there um, but my clients always seem happy but I'm never happy about it and I realized I'm we had to sort of say where our weakness was and I was saying what my weakness was was that my, ex my expectations of myself get in the way so this week I've been really just trying to relax and not putting that expectation out and just trying to work more with spirit and letting them come in closer to me and it's been working really well but every client I've had can can so they know who I'm bringing through um, and I don't have to get all these bullet points that I think are necessary much necessary so that was a big lesson for myself um, and, it, and it does, I just feel like my information is, has been coming a lot like clearer and, and better too with that. So these are the expectations, you know, we get caught up what other people want and we're trying to please everybody, but we, we can't please everyone all the time. So let's do some cards for the week to see where we're going to go with this. And I feel like don't get just get lost in the daydream. Like I really feel like you need to set tasks this week and try to take action and get as much as you can done to try and keep mind and trying to try to keep yourself busy. Okay. Let's have a look coming up for the week ahead. It is about contemplating the cards here, contemplating, looking at new ideas and I feel like not being scared to actually try it. There is an aspect of like planning and this could include, I feel like, relationships, planning could be for, for family, getting like a, um, for family, but also I feel like seeking that truth, that, that hidden knowledge that we know. It's about also afraid not to ask for help this week. It is a week where we are going to want, um, I guess, a loved one or people that we know and cherish, as I said before, knowing to be who's on your side and being with those people. It's going to help you a lot this week. But I feel like as a, as a, inspira it's a week of inspiration, it's a, it is a week of... Um, there could be an aspect of feeling let down and this could be the aspects of Chiron that someone's letting you down or that you're feeling alone or that you're walking alone and that you are feeling quite um, tired as I said like lack of sleep, tired that um, emotional roller coaster could be come on but I feel like as I said like the tiredness but listening to your intuition that voice it's very important this week i also feel like there would be some sort of healing aspect towards the heart um whether you're being truth with someone and honest or you're someone is something is being revealed um but it's also i feel like there's this whole planning whether it be it's financial relationships it's just some sort of planning planning coming up with new ideas researching being quite sure in in where you are in your life in how things are heading out and how they are moving forward to you i just feel like it's not a week to sit back and let everything just fly by there as i said there will be some things that we still won't see there will be some things under the veil where we still have this hidden knowing but not being able to fully see the full picture there is an aspect here of, sort of, of people changing or evolving um coming in or waking up even coming into the reality of I'm going to say truth and not into the, the delusions I have a feeling more lies are going to be told with government but they're going to be exposed or people are going to be more woken up to it 
as well this week. Um, but I, I feel like it's not a week. I just feel like it's gonna, not going to be a good week for the stocks. When we're looking at stock markets. I just have a feeling that this week things could plummet, plummet down. And it's about doing things that make you feel good inside as well. But being honest to yourself and to others, but to yourself. And it's it is try it is about being in your power, but also trying to keep your cool and to try and really try and live as peaceful life as you can this week as well. With this 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 full moon energy is gonna expose and bring up a lot of a lot of issues and a lot of things with people. And it's gonna be how you react, whether or not how the other thing's gonna flow on for this week for you as well. Okay, so I'm going to also um, try and get a channel for you and then we'll do the um, four card spread. Okay. This full moon is going to bring about a lot of energy that you haven't seen before. It's going to renew your power, renew your belief system and renew your knowledge in what you seek. It is going to kickstart, activate something inside of you that hasn't been there for a while and it could be anger it could be expectations for something that hasn't been there has some gonna come back you need to face obstacles that come in your way this week it is not a week of backing down you need to learn how to heal deep wounds that have caused you emotional pain and caused you grief these things will all come ahead and you'll all have to face each one of you this could be as simple as a loss of a loved one or pet to as someone who has hurt you Ba um, badly that is still living these things are all going to come around and you're all going to have to learn to deal with it which you all can do and from this experience you all grow and grow as one the financial as prospects for this week are a bit grim with the finances and the stock exchange really falling on its head there'll be uh, rumors of a depression and people will start to think people will start to see the truth and they'll start to prepare as we've been warning you for the last year and a half preparing is what you need and preparing is what you need to do now for what is coming be prepared for the unexpected that is coming okay, okay so um, I'm going to the four cards I'm drawn to my friends deck so I'm going to do that so I'm look here this week get the four cards so what cards so one two four okay okay so card number one card number one with this card here I feel like this card you're you're sort of going on a shopping splurge and I feel like you are overindulging. You're going out trying to have a good time, but I want to stay, be careful what you spend. Try not to, as I said, try not to overspend, spend what you need. But I feel like there's an aspect of you preparing for a Christmas or um, the holiday season too, into thinking about what other people need and putting other people's wants before yours. You, you are um, confident and you have done the hard work but as there is an aspect of just being careful what you spend this week card number two which is this card here okay um with this card you might there could be like some sort of financial loss or a crack that comes up into like the some sort of system that you have could be a work of i feel like working this is about work and finances it's it is a bit of a you do have an idea moment so when things starting to failing or causing you distress i feel like you will get an idea that's going to sort of ease ease your way through it um, and ease the process of what's happening around you i feel like it is a week where even though things may be falling around you or, or falling apart you need to keep um, a grip you need to keep a a hold on everything and keep your calm i feel like keeping your calm will be very good and useful for this week with this card um it is about exposing of things but it's also about trying to stay calm when an alarm bell, alarm bells ring okay card number three this card here I like this card um here it is about um you're trying to get sleep i feel like it's about 
um, love, like your desire of what relationship you want or some sort of like friendships even. I feel like you're trying to contemplate. It's like be careful of people who don't seem real or legit. It's like someone's ready to put a knife in your back. So just be aware of people. Um, and you're going to know. I feel like you'll know who these people are. I feel like you know who you can trust and who you can't trust and just be more aware of the ones you can't trust this week. I feel like it is about, um, I feel like it's about though catching up on, trying to catch up on some sleep. I feel like it's, it is about contemplating about relationships um, and it's about like sort of seeking or looking for what relationship you want in the future as well. Card number four, which is this card here. I feel like for this card here, you're trying to do uh, multiple things. Um, you're really trying to, I feel like maybe even impress others. But you're also trying to be, could be like a good mom or good parent, but it's also be trying to look after someone um, who you really like, who you love and adore. It is about, I feel like staying in your power and not trying to overcompensate for stuff this week. And it's, it is like you are, um, you're all packed, you're ready to go, and you're going up, like you're leveling up, you're going to a new way of seeing things or a new way of living, but you're going up. So to me, you're, you're, um, this could even be a financial thing where you get like some kind of pay rise or bonus or something positive. Up, I feel like it's a positive thing. Um, but there is an aspect of not, yeah, not being over cocky, but believing also that, you know, things are happening around you, but you're also helping other people too with this card. Okay, so um, I am at the MBS next week. So it's a four-day festival. It goes from Thursday to Sunday. The times have changed. So usually it's from 10 to 7, but I've changed it from 9 to 6. Um... Oh, I'm not a morning person, so I've got to cut up an hour earlier, but that's okay. So if you're in Sydney, it's at the ICC, please come down and say hi. And, um, and yes, I think that's it. Um, so thank you for your likes, shares, and your comments, and I will see you for my next video. Oh, if it's the Indian video, India video, I didn't know that lady wasn't the actual leader. I looked up when I googled leaders, the leader of India, she came up. So I will try and do a little bit of what I see for the actual the president um, of India too. But um, I'll do that when I can. So anyway, thank you for your likes, shares, and comments, and I'll see you for my next video. So bye for now.